before starting this training let's talk about who is leading this training who are involved in this training and why should you invest your energy time and of course for JSS members if they're taking our training with labs then we're talking about money now you should be really asking this question and it's important because you don't want to invest your energy which probably is the most important thing out of anything and this type of skills cannot be taught by someone who have never done real world projects or they don't have experience or just coming with certification is not going to be enough for someone to say let me make you a network administrator network engineer later on or systems administrator that's not gonna happen in reality if we talk about the real admin jobs I'm not talking about someone just giving you a title I'm, go I'm talking about you go going out with confidence and telling yourself that even if I left one job I'm an admin I can go find another job that's the confidence that I'm talking about so for that it has to be taught by someone who have a lot of experience in different side of projects and they should have a lot of hands-on experience in different companies so the lead trainer in this program is of course Kamran uh, he's basically a person that talks about passion when it comes to teaching when I was basically talking to Kamran a year ago and we were talking and discussing this program the only thing I asked him that do you have passion for teaching and when I saw his delivery and how he was teaching the student in this whole trainings live sessions and how he was answering students it just blew my mind because uh, I became a fan of him and I started to learn from him as well so that's why he's leading this program not, not, not that's not to say that JSS don't have any other passionate teachers everybody have different side that that basically is unmatchable and I will discuss that so Kamran is going to lead this he's basically a senior IT infrastructure engineer uh, who have 11 plus years of experience he has CCNP uh, security certified and he have also attempted CCIE labs probably going for the exam and he's also now taking AWS um, a lot of AWS projects that he's doing in different companies he have a lot of experience on Cisco Firepower PFSense and he had mentioned it over here so you can pause this video to kind of understand what he have but what I want to basically focus on what Kamran basically put in this text and he will explain a little bit in audio as well in this whole uh, session so the first thing if we want to focus on certificate may get you a job but the real challenge is how you are going to tackle and troubleshoot the real devices in your working environment now remember this is the same issue that when you were learning IT support skills from JSS that's the same thing that how we teach because you may get a job by a good resume by knowing someone by having a good customer service skills but the stress that comes with not knowing technical skills is basically going to haunt you and that is something that I can guarantee on any professional to come in and they will tell you that exact same thing they, they will have to get technical for them to become an IT professional other than that you could be just working in a customer service environment but you cannot be called an IT professional because you're not technical enough so this is why Kamran is going to bring that technical knowledge in this a course and the course is designed for people who understand that this is now going to be advanced learning but we're not gonna jump into something advanced without knowing the theory behind it without knowing the basics behind behind it so he mentioned it over here I've seen many cases where people jump on to the expert level and their concepts fall apart and they eventually leave this field miserably it's very very important and it's 100 percent true I have seen it as well so the the main point over here what Kamran is basically making is that we need to start from bottom 
So because now we're not doing alternative things, we're not learning help desk where I can say, you can install this application or that application and you can do it this way or that way. And if you can't do it, just pass it on to someone who can do it. And you can Google things like that. Here, you will still Google things. But if you wanna become an administrator, later on engineer, your mind has to be clear in one, on one thing, that the theory that you're going to learn, you have to understand it now. If you don't get it from one of these lectures that Kamran and other instructors are going to present over here, then go ahead and research outside on Google. It's, there's a tons of information on each and every topic that we're going to touch. But here you're being serious. There's no more uh, alternatives over here. You can't just say, I'm going to skip it and I'm going to come back to it. So skipping in some areas are fine, but not like, you know, that I'm, not, I'm just going to not do it. Okay. Next, we have in JSS, let's say if you're taking this program in JSS as well, you're going to come across the practice labs section where which is basically hands on labs for almost seven hours. It's done by uh, Shweb Harun. Uh, he also have, uh, you know, a lot of years of experience, more than five years of experience. And he's also a CCNP certified um, and switches and routing. He's very good at this stuff. And and again, um, this is a person who you're going to see a lot um, in JSS and we want to thank you for his passion to create such a great hands-on videos for us. So then this whole training becomes pretty much, you know, uh, a, a real job. Like you're doing training, then you're going back to the labs and you're performing those labs and practice labs on a real systems makes it super, super hands-on. And we just want to thank you, Harun, for doing that for us. You will also come across Ali Dibaj, who is basically all over JSS. He's creating a lot of videos, so you will see him in, C uh, in this uh, program as well. And he's also CCNA certified in security. He also have MCSA, uh, which basically expired now, but he also have a lot of other certification and he's doing a lot of cloud training as well. So you can see every person in this program have many, many years of experience in network engineering, network administration. So they're, they're bringing a lot of, uh, you know, technical skills in this program. Now, some of you already know about myself. My name is Danish. I've been in IT for almost 15 years. I have started from internship. And of course, I spent a lot of time in help desk and then transitioning uh, skills to networking, systems administration, and I do a lot of projects for different companies. So I have a lot of different experience uh, from different companies, even in management. So it kind of gives me that that uh, capability where I can see people or I can see where they're getting stuck or maybe the content that we're creating. How can we add content so it's not too advanced, it's not too simple, and at the same time, it's content that they can really observe and then transition into something. And in JSS, we don't create just content. We want to make sure that it's being used in resumes or interviews, and then you grow in your career. So we have people starting from nothing to 90K, starting from more than 90K, and people have done amazing in this, uh, in this platform. And some of the stories are on our YouTube. So my job with the team is going to be always tailoring this content to make sure that it helps you in transitioning and also learning skills so then you're not stressed. Because in JSS, one of our major thing that we focus on is to have less stress for you to be able to do your job and that's to make you technically so good with you even with learning so then you can go to any job and at least feel a little more comfortable. Now, how can you meet us? There are two ways you can do this. One, if you are using a public learning like YouTube and you're using a playlist, then you can meet us in Discord so you can meet all of these trainers. And I'm gonna show you in a second. The link will be provided in the description. If you're taking this program specifically to ask a question about something that you don't have access, like for example, test out or the, the, the labs, and you wanna be guided by someone kind of one-on-one -on -one in the Discord, then of course that is a paid option where we will discuss that in our JSS platform. And then uh, that's a different Discord. You will still get an invite in that and then that's kind of a little bit of a more one-on-one -on -one type of situation. But for now, let's say you're watching the YouTube and you just wanna meet everybody, even the community leaders, 
and partners and collaborators like Keftech is in here. Uh, other people like Kev Diaz, Poloman, Hemi, Haifa. These are the community members that have led the whole Discord. Uh, it's a community efforts over here. So th there's no, uh, you know, payments over here. This is all free stuff. So if you want to join and meet all of us in one area, then this should be the this should be the area that you should be joining in. And then from here, you can join other Discord like Keftech from here. He has a great Discord, uh, you know, community where you can be active and uh, and add more engineers or you know it professionals and ask them more questions if you're basically following our training regarding my qualification i have done bachelor in computer sciences and then masters in computer sciences as well and then some certifications like cisco based uh, ccna ccnp i have i have gone through the cci labs as well although i didn't uh, attempt uh, which is uh, basically, you know, uh, the single CCI lab, uh, basically you need to go into the Dubai or somewhere else in, uh, like in uh, China. Uh, I haven't gone through that because, uh, you know, some uh, uh, technical issues, but I have gone through the CCI labs. Uh, so I hope you are going to get a lot from this series. And uh, uh, regarding my uh, experience, uh, I have uh, over 10 years of experience working as IT network engineer. And I was basically IT manager for three sites in Saudi Arabia. And those uh, basically were hotels. So many people, you know, they overlook this uh, hotel industry and they uh, like misunderstood that there is no any kind of IT going on in those uh, hotel environments. But let me tell you, you know, uh, in an organization, you may have for 20 to 40 employees, uh, then you have uh, multiple switches and routers and, you know, these CCTV camps. But when we talk about the hospitality industry, it is full of IT. On a day-to-day basis, you have to come across with the, you know, uh, so many troubleshootings uh, uh, you have to perform because you have the rush hours, you have so many guests in, uh, in the weekend days. So, there are so many troubleshooting going on and you have to troubleshoot every day okay so you uh, uh, get a lot of you know uh, experience from such kind of uh, uh, you know working environment which i've been so this is also going to be a very good experience with you so uh, sometime if i feel that uh, the presentation is going to be very dry maybe i will share some cracks and during my jobs what happened so uh, you, I hope you will uh, enjoy it.